Good morning and welcome to our benefice prayers. Just to remind you that we do have um, Christmas services running this week and we will have our services on Wednesday as normal in All Saints Rubina and All Saints Land of North. And then on Christmas Eve on Thursday, we will be running a service of Midnight Mass at various times in the four churches throughout the benefice. So please look online or look to the cards that were available in church to give you the service times for your particular church. And I look forward to you joining us for worship. We will be streaming Midnight Mass at 8 p.m. from St. Mary's Church in Whitchurch. And we will be streaming Christmas Day at 10 a.m. from the same church. So you're invited warmly to join us for either of those acts of worship if you're able to do so. Well, here we are once again, lockdown number three. And um, this was the one that nobody really wanted as we are rapidly approaching celebrating what is um, a time for family and friends as we meet together as Christians to celebrate the birth of our Lord. Now you, like me, like most people I suppose, have had to change your plans and this can be devastating for some people. But there are people who um, really get paid week by week and were waiting until last Friday in order to get paid so that they could do some Christmas shopping and they now will be in a very difficult position. So I'm going to ask you to pray for anybody that is in extreme difficulty as a result of this lockdown. Um, that might be yourself, it might be somebody you know, um, but it's presenting everybody with challenges, not just emotionally, but simply practically. So I'll ask you to pray for all those people who are experiencing practical difficulties as a result of this lockdown. And however you spend Christmas and whoever you spend Christmas with, I hope you have a joyful and a holy occasion as we celebrate the birth of our Lord together. And so now to our benefice prayers. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Almighty God, you fed your people in the wilderness and guided them by cloud and fire, giving commandments to order their lives. Give us eyes to see your purpose, perseverance to follow where you lead and courage to know the truth that sets us free. That our lives may be blessed and your will may be done. Blessed be God forever. We say together the canticle. <clears throat> Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your life laid down on the cross, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We... Excuse me. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Glory to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. God speaks to his people through the prophet Isaiah. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. This is my comfort in my trouble. Your promise gives me life. We say together, God the Father, have mercy on us. God the Son, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Be exalted, Lord above the heavens. May your glory cover the earth. Renew your church in holiness and give your people the blessing of peace. Keep our nation under your care and guide us in justice and truth. Let your way be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. Do not let the needy, O God, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Guide those who serve in public office, <coughs> that they may work for the common good. Shelter those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness, that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness. I commend myself and all for whom I pray to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. As our Saviour Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature we cannot always stand upright. Grant to us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the light of Christ shine in our hearts. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for our benefits prayers. Just to remind you that we will be holding Christmas services and streaming them online. And you can watch the service from St. Mary's Church at 8 o'clock on Christmas Eve or 10 a.m. on Christmas Day. And I look forward to you joining me for those if you're able to do so. So thank you for joining me for benefits prayers and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Goodbye.